Hello everybody, my name is Chokester1801 and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 The Final Mix. Let's get going. So last time we finished off with Roxas's portion of the story and we got back Sora. Let's go. Um, we met Yensid. That's this guy. He is a wizard. Also, if you spell his name backwards, it spells Disney. So, haha. <laughs> um, read more. Yeah. So anyway, basically we have to go on another quest because we, you know, didn't actually save the worlds i guess <laughs> um yeah so bonds and light and darkness okay we're not gonna read that can i open the chest let's go give me a map called it hello donald you have to read the book okay the interlude <clears throat> the interlude a long dream a sad farewell hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze and know at your steps, for there all confusion will end. So, you know, retrace your steps and you won't be confused anymore. Very cryptic. The future story. Will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid. Entrust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. So yeah, I mean, like, I guess I was kind of talking about Roxas. Um, talk to us, Yen Sid. Tell us what we need to know. Wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. Oh, thanks. We However, did do something. The Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Yeah, I guess we can't do that. Of course, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <laughs> Donald is our enemy. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a heartless. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Yeah, never. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then. The being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. 
Good to know, game. Thanks. We already Still, wrecked the bunch. are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Dun dun dun! Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. <laughs> yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. <laughs> Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora, you sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> All right, sweet. So yeah, I mean that basically explained who our enemies are. So let's go get some clothes. This is actually one of my favorite parts of Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm pumped. Hello, fairy godmothers. Please grant me magical clothes. Me, you guys, Riku and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah! Yeah! The, wait, where'd he get six? So you got Riku, the King, Sora, Mickey, or Sora, Donald, and Goofy. That's five. So who's the sixth? I'm assuming Sora meant either Roxas or Kyrie. Probably Kyrie, <laughs> but I don't know. Hello. Change clothes. Yeah, let's be off. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. That's us. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. I like how Goofy and Donald just didn't grow, and so they don't need clothes, I guess. No, <laughs> oh, that will never do. Now, now, dears. <laughs> but don't you like this better? Green. Red. Are you certain? Green. Blue. Blue. Red. I wonder how long they do this for. <gasps> Evil bird. Wait, that mo that's Maleficent's bird. Uh, would you just decide... Oh, well. Get wrecked. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh yes. He does look very dashing. Now those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! 
<gasps> Two keyblades. This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. Yeah, we got two enemies this time. <sighs> your garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. <laughs> Donald and Goofy are like, <gasps> for us? But yeah, we got new clothes, which in this game come with the drive forms. So the drive forms, you see the drive gauge in the bottom right. Um, when you have enough drive gauge, you can activate a form. It uses one of your party members. So the Valor form uses Goofy. Um, and then you get another form that uses Donald. You get another form that uses both of them, so on and so forth. We'll discover them as we go throughout. Um, but yeah, so one of my favorite parts in this game actually is the drive forms. It's really cool An image of you overcome by the power of darkness. Oh, no Possessing all abilities wow. All right, so um, Form abilities are fixed So like drive forms have their own abilities and that includes like combos and things like that but you can actually level up the forms and the abilities level up as well. And when you're in certain drive forms, you get two keyblades. So for example, we just got the new kingdom or the new star seeker, which is the new keyblade. Um, and then there's the kingdom key. We're just gonna, you know, stick with the kingdom key for now. Um, just because it halves damage taking critical situations and, you know, apparently I'm pretty bad at Kingdom Hearts and so I get into critical situations more frequently than I would like to admit. Um, we did get a combo boost, which is pretty cool. We'd have to, like, stop using one of these. I think, actually, we'll just unequipped aerial recovery. Yeah. So these are all the forms for, or the, all the skills for Valor form. So we have like um, combo moves, leaps towards a target with a rapid attack if you use X, you know, deals a finishing combo move in the middle of a combo with X, things like that. And then you also get high jump, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that, that's how that is. There's Valor form. Um, in this form, you get a point of experience for every attack you do so if i hit people 80 times i would get um a form level up so yeah that's really exciting i'm pumped that's valor form let's go yen Sid, what do you have for us <gasps> what do we drop <gasps> it's a crown Is this a gift too? The fairy godmothers are like, I don't know. But if you found it, it's probably something to do with your adventure. Jiminy Cricket can hold on to it for us. Thanks, Jiminy. A puzzle piece. Huh. That's cool. Anyway. Yen Sid, what do you got for us? <gasps> You're standing. Our gummy ship! Let's go! Now we can fly around the world! So, you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking 
the special gates. Special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. Oh, Yen said, However, I hoped you knew the key everything. The Keyblade will serve as your guide. The Keyblade. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the Gummy Ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Heck yeah. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the heartless and the nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. AKA they can they just teleport wherever they want. <laughs> pathways to the gates between the worlds. Oh, Agree, Donald. Agree. <laughs> I like how Jensen just did not comment on that. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Woo. Master Lightsong. We sure do appreciate the help. He just, he just disappeared. Okay. My Why goodness, no what's that? <gasps> the bird. It's Maleficent. somewhere before yes dear i wonder whose it was oh malefa no we mustn't remember her name oh dear she was a mean old witch oh no the memories are coming back what'll we do oh what'll we do she's taking form Run to Yen Sid. Yes! This woman's super evil. Maleficent. Well, she back. That's okay. It'll be fine. We can take care of her again if needed. <laughs> I guess she's immortal or something. I don't know. Howdy, Sora. How you doing? Hello, Chippendale. Anyway, I was gonna say one of my favorite parts of Kingdom Hearts is the philosophy that all of our hearts are connected, because it really speaks to certain phenom phenomenological philosophies, especially like Emmanuel Levinas, who talks about how our relationships are what make us human, and so. How we treat each other really, really matters. Um, Levinas in particular talked about how we have this ethical self and the obligations that we owe to each other are a big part of what make us human. And so we, we lie to ourselves when we want to act selfishly and we, we do a disservice to ourselves and others when we are selfish. Levinas talks about, and other philosophers after him, talk about this idea of like, we frequently feel like we ought to do something when we're with people. Sometimes that's like, we ought to give a comforting word or a shoulder to cry on, or just listen, or we ought to help them out in some way. You know, or we ought to like confront them about the lies they're telling themselves, something. And we betray ourselves when we don't do those things. But we can only do those things with other people, which is why relationships and how we treat each other really, really matters. It's really, really cool. And I feel like Kingdom Hearts touches on that in that how we treat each other really does matter. Yay, Chippendale! Anyway, back to, you know, the really fun 
not philosophy game that we're playing. <laughs> Only one? I think it's a world we know. We're flying the gummy ship. Woo woo! We can't go anywhere else. Look, there's a world there. And there's one here. And there's something over there. But we can't we can't fly anywhere. But we can dash. Anyway, let's go to Hollow Bastion. I just appreciate we didn't have to do some like gummy mini game of breaking crap up. <gasps> it's Pete. Oh, so Maleficent. sneaky. Maleficent. Just as a reminder, Hollow Bastion was like one of the final worlds in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, it's also where you fight Maleficent and take her out. This castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. It was a lot cooler in the previous game. I'll, I'll tell you now that. Much. What's gonna happen to our plan? The crow. Dun dun dun. It's Hollow Bastion. Gorge looks kind of different now. Ah, not when the dead are going, okay? Heartless. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. It's pretty cool how like in the first game you basically only were in the castle and then in this game you get to do a whole bunch of stuff around the town pretty cool anyway you can't we can't go back there even though there's like some stuff there <gasps> the crown puzzle piece awakening puzzle piece cool all right let's go explore the town shall we <gasps> hello Donald's nephew, an ability ring. Okay, coo 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 coo. Hello, rando person. Armor shop. Oh, we get a shadow anklet to get some darkness resistance. That could be helpful, actually. Weapons, you know, get Donald and Goofy some weapons if need be. I wonder if they need weapons. Like, are these any good? One, one, and one. So if we bought them these, they would have two, one, and two. I mean, I feel like one stat point isn't going to make the biggest difference. I also am not actually all that familiar with how Kingdom Hearts stats work. <laughs> so in this game, you can synthesize materials. Um, if you have like some recipes, we don't have any recipes. But yeah, you just talk to the Moogle, Moogles and you can synthesize stuff. And there's items. <gasps> Another puzzle piece. Let me get up there. Let me get up there. Oh, wait. Let me get up there. Okay, I guess I can't get up there. Um, hello. Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> Who? He's Donald's uncle, a business typhoon. Apparently, before the Heartless showed up, he traveled the world on a gummy ship with the king. He was helping to set up a, tra a transit, si transit system. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Hello, Uncle Scrooge. I can't seem to recreate my favorite ice cream. I'd make millions if I got it right. That looks disgusting. Oh, apparently it is terrible, so there you go. <laughs> is that is that it? The shop is actually a giant refrigerator. Alright, so let's go to the Boro. Because I guess that's where Leon and the others are. You know, I didn't realize how many cutscenes this game had. Oh. Hey, what's going on? That's the town's defense mechanism. Who are you, voice from the heavens? Yuffie! 
Yuffie. Look out! <gasps> no bodies. Let's show them. All right, should we show off Valor form? Let's do it. Valor form. Two keyblades. Isn't that so sweet? I'm just like wrecking them. Boom, 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 boom. I just love it. It's so cool. Anyway, so then once the val once the form cage empties, I run out of Valor form. Look, I'm still in Valor form in the cutscene. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Gotta say that red well, looks really expect? sweet. I want the others. Great. Hey Yuffie, have you seen the king and Riku? Nope. I like how our basic reason for going across I the world. I'd see you guys again. Our basic reason is like, let's go find the king and Riku. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on. I wonder if I'll be out of Valor form or not. Let's see. I am still in it. Okay, so one of the perks of Valor form is that I can high jump. So let's see if I can make it. <gasps> oh, I'm so close. <gasps> Man, that's so sad. Can I jump up here? Nope. Maybe if I jump up here. You ready? We jump onto this wall. Oh, I cannot. Okay, well, I tried. Yeah. I also run like slightly faster. Get ready. Alright, well, we're back to normal form. Yeah, so that was Valor form. What'd you think? I think it's really fun. I also appreciate that I can open um, chests while engaged in combat in this game. Because I'm pretty sure in Kingdom Hearts 1, you, you can't. I could be wrong about that. Maybe you can. Boom. Boom. Got him. Hollow Bastion's nice because the town defense system like helps you out by blowing people up. Oh, hey, another puzzle piece. Look at all these chests. We're just swimming in them. Pretty sweet. I don't know what happened to Donald Goofy. Oh, they are healthy. I just didn't hear them, like, fighting in combat. And so I was just like, oh, you know, they're probably not here. Alright. Um, I'm just, like, running around grabbing chests. Oh, ow. Oh, level up. Let's go. Experience boost. Nice. A dark shard. So the way you get synthesis materials is by fighting enemies and they'll drop stuff. Oh, an AP boost. That can give us more ability points so we can equip more things. Alright, puzzle piece. And do you think we can make this jump? I don't think so. <gasps> We did not. <laughs> Alright, so... We got an AP boost. Let's just use that on Sora. Because we always need more ability points on Sora. Um, do we have any, like... Oh, yeah. Goofy gets... Or Donald gets some more defense. Sounds great. So, yeah. Now we can ex increase experience gained by 100% when you're at half health or less. Wow. That's pretty sweet. How much health am I at? 23. Okay. Well, let's go to Merlin's house. We'll see the gang. Meet the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee. Well, hello. We missed you. Well, if you ain't in top shape, I knew it. <laughs> knew what? A while back, everyone suddenly remembered you guys all at the same time. You mean you forgot Remember? us? Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? Hey, wow. Sora and I are on the same so wavelength. Where have you guys been all this time? We were sleeping. <laughs> where? In cold storage? <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is great. 
Everyone's together again. So, um, we're trying to find Riku and the King. Have you seen him? Right. Oh, that was really Sorry, weird. It just like but let us know if lagged. We can do to help, okay? I wonder if okay. that came through on the video. Thanks. We'll see. Don't go thanking us just yet. Hollow Bastion's got a problem. A big problem. You mean like nobodies and heartless? That's right. Sounds like you could use our help. Then let's cut to the chase. Sora, Donald, Goofy. We were hoping the three of you might give us a hand around here. Of course, Leon, we love fighting Heartless. Like we're gonna say no? And we like helping people because that's the right thing to do and I it's a good thing I'm to do. With. Oh, what do you mean by that? He Just means you're a great a helper, sort of Leon. Leon compliment. Or I meant Donald. <laughs> Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. I like how Leon just has this like deep, calm voice. <laughs> Hello, oh, Merlin. I thought it was you. They ride on time. That's Brian. Sora and the gang said they're gonna help out. Splendid. We'll count on you. Can you teach me Brian, magic what? again, please? Ah, yes. Uh, did you give them the cards, dear? Oh. Here, they're presents for you. Leon thought you might like to have them. Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. What was your plans? Quite the cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leon. Huh? Oh, no. We're supposed to be at the Bailey. Just a moment, what about your magic? Huh? Uh... <laughs> Maybe you forgot it while you were asleep. Yes, please lend me spells. Thanks, Merlin. So what do we get? Got a membership card. We got Blizzard. And that's it. So yeah, now we can use Blizzard. And free stuff. Take a frost crystal. Hi, Aerith. Yeah, I'll make Leon wait as long as I want, okay? Alright, do you think we can get this puzzle piece? Huh! Oh, I didn't jump. Huh! Oh, we were so close. Maybe if we jump from the bed. Yes, let's go, we got it. Your clothes are designed to gather energy when you use up magic. That's great. So yeah, in this game, I'm like, so last game, like, your magic wouldn't automatically um, replicate or come back. But in this game, what happens is you have the magic bar and you just use magic all up and then your bar ends and it gets pink and you can't use magic while it's pink. And so that's like MP recovery mode. And then once it fully recovers, there you go. All right, so let's save so, you know, we don't have to do all that stuff again. All right, and let's go to the Bailey. I think we're going to have to fight all those Heartless that we just fought earlier. We're going to have to fight them again. Oh, yeah. didn't have to fight these ones. We're just going to take shortcut. We, because we already went all the way back over there. To the Bailey. Why are you just like chilling in a corner, Leon? <laughs> ah, it has a nice view. That's why. That Look makes more that. sense. Oh. Whoa. We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... For that and that.
that looked like a literal sea of darkness and heartless. We'll handle them. Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. Oh, what, what a... we need to worry about are the nobodies. <laughs> what a ripping, Ambo's savage insult. Guys in charge too. You called? Ah, <gasps> dun dun dun. You're doing well. Who's that? This calls for a celebration. What a deep voice. If only my voice were half as deep. Well, guess we're not leaving. That was like the slowest door closing I've ever seen. <laughs> you gotta protect the gates? Oh, they're, they're going for the gates? Oh, because we're protecting the town. That makes sense. Goodness, it takes forever to kill these things now. Alright, dun dun, dun dun. Nice kill. Blizzard! Ha, ha, ha. Got him. Oh man, we got the samurais. How did I miss just everything with that? Hello, can you please uh, stay away from my gates? There we go. Oof. Big hit, big hit. We're chilling. We're chilling. Alright. Got more. Let's fool him with our fancy footwork. Fool him with the fancy footwork. Oh, I didn't mean to do a potion there. Alright. Fool him with the fancy footwork. No. There we go. Wreck him with some ice. Easy peasy. Everything's so bulky, you know. Ow. Uh, that was a big hit. <laughs> Leon's down. What do you mean, Leon's down? Leon, what are you doing down? Oh, man. I'm almost down. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. Alright, we're, like, about to die. Ow. I'm gonna die. This is not good. Stay away. I'm, I'm gonna die. Alright, we killed the samurai. The gates are not doing great. Come on. There we go. Got the kill. Let's go! That was close. <laughs> Whew. Blade, a truly marvelous weapon. True. Thank you. Were it only in more capable Okay, you don't have to be meanie about it. Oh, it's like the whole gang's here. Organization 13! Settle this. Uh, Sora, we have a whole game to play. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> yeah, they can What's teleport. The Oopsie Daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that. <laughs> I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move. See, that would work if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Ooh, got him. Oh, dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? <laughs> As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? 
<laughs> That's right. He used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. <laughs> yeah, Gee, you tell him, Sora. I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Right. That's the way. Nice try, Donald. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. Preach. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. Oh. Wow! Huh? Well, the keybaits lighten up. Gorge, you think? So the real question is, did that unlock something or lock something? Oh, now I get it. That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Oh boy! Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. Yeah, this is clearly going to be pretty tough if I almost got wrecked from just that little activity. <laughs> we'll get better, don't worry. I believe in us. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He is nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be. Or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey. As long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Those look like the most uncomfortable chairs. You know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Like all of those chairs? They're sitting at like the edge of them. Do you see how far from the back they are? The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Is that a dig because now nobody go. remembers Chain of Memories? <laughs> Alright, well, that's like the shortest world ever. Oh, we do have to do it. <gasps> what happened to Twilight Town? Oh, wow, I took the words right out of my mouth. So basically you have to clear the gummy routes and then when you do, you get to do the worlds. So what I always did, because I never remember, so you might not have noticed, but so this world had like a battle level, like battle level 8. I think we're level 10 now. Um, and so each world has a battle level and so that just refers to like the strength of the enemies. Um, 
because we're on proud mode, um, we're probably going to want to, you know, pay attention to the to the battle level. So what I usually do is I do clear both of the routes and then choose the world. Because I think, I, th I don't think it makes you, like, land. We'll see. So let's clear one. Let's go for it. I mean, this is basically the same minigame. You just shoot stuff and hope to not die. So yeah, you, you move the gummy ship, you press A to fire. I think you can also, like, dodge roll. Do a barrel roll. Yep, there we go. Oh, apparently I also... Hello? There we go. I was like, well, why am I not shooting? Apparently I can't hold down A. I have to press A. That's good to know. Also, apparently we have a laser where if I hold down it, it just obliterates everything. <laughs> so that's good to know too. I don't know how frequently we can use the laser. It's pretty nice though, not gonna lie. Ooh, it's a different color. When the enemies are like slightly different colors, that means they usually hold special things. We we're shooting stuff. Look, there's a different color one. Get it! Yeah! Look, it dropped a thunder. I think that's a I think that's a gun. Shoot the back. Shoot the back. There we go. We're killing it. Easy peasy. It's a different color. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Let's go. We got fire. Oh, did you see that? We got a blizzard. Oh, there's another different color one. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Did we get it? No. Oh, we did get it. Honestly, you know, I was kind of bashing on this before Hollow Bastion. Like, saying I was happy we didn't have to do it. That's pretty fun, not gonna lie. We're just like moving, shooting, you know. This stuff, it can definitely get difficult. Like, it's not always this easy. I remember this, I remember Kingdom Hearts 2 being slightly easier than Kingdom Hearts 1 in terms of the gummy stuff. But honestly, that might just be because I always played normal mode. And I think Kingdom Hearts 1 is just generally slightly more difficult than Kingdom Hearts 2. Could be wrong. Blow them all up! Yeah, lasers! Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Easy peasy. There's still more of you? Goodness. Where do they make all these Heartless? Heartless Factory R Us? Oh, I'm like blowing up these asteroids. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! And we made it. It's just that easy sometimes, you know? We wrecked it. And now we could do missions. We're probably not going to do a bunch of gummy ship stuff. Mostly because I just don't like doing a bunch of it. Alright, let's go. So now we unlocked this world. The Land of Dragons. I'm pretty sure that's the next one. Because like, it usually goes by twos, like eight. 10 and then this one's like 12 or something like that but we don't really have enough time to go into the world i think it would be better if we just next video started going into the world that way it could feel more like a complete start you know um yeah look now we got a new blueprint i wonder if there's enough so this is the gummy editor we're not reading all this can I, can I close it, please? Hello, thank you. <laughs> okay, it already is, like, filled to the brim of the cost, so... We're just gonna take it for a spin. Let's go, we'll take the high wind. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna do this other gummy mission. The HP gauge, yeah. Bring it on. Let's go. Shooting. Oh, look, we have like a. Yeah, we have one that kind of blows up. We have a shot that just blows up. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I think the, the 
Sample gummy ships are pretty good. Like, you can make your own too. And that's pretty fun. I was, like, really terrible at doing that as a kid, but it's fun. I'll say that much. <laughs> like, I would always just, like, put a thousand guns on my ship and just go to town and have, like, zero HP. And so if it was any sort of gummy map where I just had to, like, last against enemies, I would get just demolished. No, we didn't get to kill him. That's okay. It's not a big deal. There was like a special color enemy, you know, and they drop items. And sometimes you just, there's not enough time to get them. And that's okay. Because you could always try again. Usually it's not worth it to try again, I'm not gonna lie. Um, hello. Ooh, nice hit. Let's go, we like demolish that guy. You know, as a kid, I definitely underappreciated lasers. Because I, I don't remember using them nearly as frequently. Alright, so how are we doing? How are we doing, game? We just chilling? Yeah, we're just chilling. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Just waiting, you know, waiting for the world to change. Ba 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 it's always hard to get the ones at an angle, because it's just hard to see where they are and, like, to get their, um, angle right. Ow. We, we got hit! We got hit, boys! Get him, get him, get him! Boom, 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 boom! Alright. That's pretty chill. Alright, so I think it's, like, his limbs. Yeah, his limbs. Are the weak point. Yeah. Wreck him, wreck him, wreck him. Get him. Oh my goodness. That's so many fire. Ah! Just kill him. Can you just die, sir, please? Wow, are you shooting this much? Ooh, we got him. Let's go. Look at all that experience. Easy. Man, we wrecked that. That was really fun. Ooh, that was a little, did you, uh, my screen was like covered in those pellets. And yet somehow we didn't really get hit very much. I'm not really sure what, what, what happened there. Ooh, a heal upgrade. That sounds useful. Look at all this treasure we got. Let's go. Pretty bomb. And there we go, we unlocked the route to the next place. So the next place is Beast's Castle. So yeah, two worlds that, oh, and that's level 13. Okay, cool. Yeah, two worlds that are not in Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, so yeah, that'll be, I think, where we stop for today. And the next time, we will embark on a journey to the Land of Dragons. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but yeah, it was super fun. Um... It does get less cutscene heavy as you go through the worlds because basically you like progress through the story of whatever Disney movie frequently or sometimes an original story, you know, so it gets slightly less cutscene heavy. But yeah, that'll be it for today's episode. Thank you all for joining. Remember that you are worthwhile, unique, and important. And with that, we hope to see you next time.